saying? I sit around there. Hello, my name is Tia Calhoun. My name is Sydney Wingate. And my name is Taylor Carter. And this is our seminar presentation for the College of Designs School of Architecture. So what is architecture? According to the Oxford, Oxford Dictionary, architecture is the art of practicing of the art or practice of designing and constructing buildings, although the, although the connotative definition of architecture is vast and wide ranging. So these are um, some major skills that are emphasized in order to be an architect. You need good communi communication skills. You need to be able to work with others because there's going to be a lot of group projects. You need problem solving skills. You need, you need to be innovative, good at construction and fabrication, and you need to have a passion most of all for architecture. So here's um, something that would be the coursework and curriculum. There will be a six hour uh, studio class bi-weekly. You need to learn, you're going to learn the fundamentals of design, the history of architecture, structures, calculus and algebra, physics and architecture related electives. So here are related industries. There's civil engineering, urban planning, technical writing, publishing, model making and illustrating. Architecture and me. <laughs> Ever since I was a little girl, I've been interested in interior design, and I dreamed of owning my own interior design company. I loved watching the Home and Garden Television Network, and I enjoyed interacting with multiple people, improving. I'm sorry, and providing solutions according to their needs. As I matured, I felt I needed to transform my dream into a skill. Therefore, I decided I decided to apply my passion to buildings and construction. As a person who has prioritized visual arts throughout my life, I've always been intrigued by the design and structure of things around me. Within my career path, I plan on redesigning and restructuring underdeveloped cities as well as continuing to produce physical and graphical art of my own. So, with my developing skills in design, sculpture, drawing, and sketching, and graphic design, I believe I have found my niche in architecture. My passion has always been art, math, and design, and these three subjects have laid the foundation into me discovering what exactly I wanted to do with my career. Architecture is about the people, the spaces, the land, the science, and most of all, the beautiful art in and of itself. When one is an architect, they're not just an architect. They're, con they're, con they're the constructor, the creator, the psychologist, the environmentalist, and the artist. You're everything in one, and that's my biggest dream. Here are major works by Georgia Tech students or faculty. Here is the Origami Tessellation. It's on the Atlanta Beltline. It was created in 2015 by uh, Georgia Tech students, um, Ashley, Keothi, and Greenstein. And here we have the Jetson. This is actually located, you guys see this um, regularly on the second floor in the club near the Starbucks. So um, yeah, it's, it's this big white and black structure. It's created by uh, McMaster, Yo, Maz, and Green Sign. It was finished in 2015. So for our School of Architecture representative, we chose Mr. Tristan Al Haddad. He is an Atlanta native, and he is, did undergraduate and master's at Georgia Tech, and he is an assistant professor in the School of Architecture. Being an assistant professor, his job as an assistant professor is to teach, to research, and to serve. And he put to teach first because he believes very heavily in mentorship and networking and creating connections. He believes the professor-student relationship is very, very important. And there is an architecture mentoring program in the fall 2016, but he didn't have specific details about it. Resources. I asked him about the resources that college design and architecture students have and he said that there's a plethora of resources at Georgia Tech campus of course but he said our three main resources are our students from other disciplines and majors our classmates and our professors priority studio is time and attention demanding it's a six hour class two times a week so he says the less time you focus on the major the less likely you are to do well in it so he does not recommend co-ops 
fall or spring internships or double majoring. So he says save interning for the summertime. Traveling for an architecture major is one of the most vital experiences that you can have. Until you experience the space, you cannot understand the feeling someone gets when walking into the space. Trishan Al Haddad. So he also recommends that we travel a lot. He's an avid traveler. He taught in Chile and Paris and studied in Paris, Italy. So he definitely recommends that we do study abroad as well as independently travel. Architecture through all Haddad's eyes. Seeing and being a part of the process was one of the most rewarding experiences for him. He likes seeing things go from concept to reality and abstraction to actuality. And he believes that architecture is applying creative thinking to design problems. So it doesn't have to just be about architecture. You're solving problems. Architecture as a profession. So here are a little bit of statistics about architecture. The expected growth rate for this industry is 9% between 2012 and 2022. The top five paying cities for architects include Lancaster, Pennsylvania, San Francisco, California, Atlanta, Georgia, woot woot, Sacramento, California, and San Diego, California. The median wage for an architect as of 2015 was $76,000, and that is $40,000 above the national median wage. And Atlanta architects earn twice that median wage. Uh, it's probably around $96,000. The main key to success in being an architect is networking. Now, Georgia Tech offers a lot of networking programs. They offer Mentor Jackets, which is a SAA uh, sponsored group where SAA current members are paired with Georgia Tech alumni in their specific field. We have the American Institute of Architects, which is a nonprofit organization meant to uh, serve in the development of different architecture firms. Uh, most of the time, it's financial support and trying to help get firms started. And last but not least, we have the Spring Architect architecture fair. So Georgia Tech has a career fair um, called Career um, Buzz in the fall for every um, student, but the architecture um, school has a career fair specifically made for architects to intermingle and network uh, with other architecture companies. Another key to success here at for being an architect is finding your niche. So in order to do that, you have to have transferable skills. And what that means is you have to be able to apply your degree directly and indirectly. Also, if you want to find your niche, niche you should focus on your passion. Now, uh, the School of Architecture has many different um, I guess subheadings in the School of Architecture. So we have design computation, which is more multimedia based. We have evidence-based design, housing architecture, which is what I want to focus in, and the public health um, sector of architecture, which is building and constructing um, hospitals and clinics and things of that nature. Okay, so potential occupational opportunities. Now Georgia Tech's network allows you to co-op an internship for a vast amount of um, companies, but you can also participate in online job portals. Uh, online job portals allow you to submit um, your resume and your application for any job of your choice. So a few are Career Buzz, which is Georgia Tech's own um, online job portal, Arconnect.com, and Indeed.com. So the main thing that I want to emphasize at the end of this presentation is that in order to be successful as an architect, you need passion. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.